I awoke in a cold sweat and rushed to the wall to flick on the light switch. Something was in my room, watching me. It was lurking somewhere behind me, sitting in the shadows and staring at me. This was more than just paranoia. There was definitely something there. I could almost envision it wrapping its arms around me and dragging me into some terrifying abyss. I sat in my chair and stared at my shadow on the ground in front of me. I watched as another shadow slowly grew over my shoulder, never taking on any definite shape. I looked back up and stared at my computer screen. I thought maybe that if I believed it wasn't there, it would just go away. I held my breath and tried to engross myself in reading the article on the website in front of me. I couldn't help but notice how my computer screen showed a reflection of what was in front of it. I couldn't help but notice the worried look on my face. I couldn't help but notice the thing hovering behind me and staring at the back of my head. I could tell it knew I knew it was there. I screamed and threw myself against the wall and slid to the bottom. I was crying now. Scanning the room, I searched for the thing that was behind me, but I found nothing. My room was empty, except for a mirror. My eyes lingered over the mirror on the wall across from me. I watched my black fan twirl around and around through the mirror. I watched how the shadow of the fan moved all around the room. I watched how the mirror slowly began to tilt till I could see myself in it. I watched as a dark, scaly hand grasped my shoulder. I was entranced by my own reflection. All I could do was sit there as I watched the black abomination cup my face. I screamed at my reflection to move as I watched a face made from the darkness itself whisper into my reflection's ear. I gazed in horror as my reflection stood up and walked to the window. I gasped in pain when he smashed the glass with his fist. I tried to hide my eyes when I saw him pick up a broken piece of glass. I tried to look away when he forced me to stare into his eyes. I sensed his thoughts in my head. They said to me that if I was afraid to look, then I don't need to look. Everything became tinted red when my reflection brought the jagged object across his eyelids. Yet, there was no blood. Not for him. He just smiled. He walked back over to the black abomination. It again drew him near and whispered into his ear. I could see it chuckle. I cried in despair when I saw a tear roll down my reflection's face. I cried in pain when he jabbed the jagged glass into his throat. I awoke in a cold sweat and rushed to the wall to flick on the light switch. <laughs>